It's finally Friday, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. College visits keep rolling in, so pay attention. Remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup for October visits. The reps from CSU Pueblo will be here on October 11th, and then on the 16th, the reps from Ozark Christian College scheduled a visit. Rounding out the end of the month is Pikes Peak Community College, who scheduled their visit for the 30th. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations is coming to WHS for a college fair on October 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. This will be an opportunity to find out which colleges best fit your needs. To check it out, you should check in at the Counseling Center for the details and register online. We'll be announcing the November college visits closer to the end of the month, but if you cannot wait or miss some information, check the calendar in the Counseling Office or check their website for those dates. Juniors and Seniors, WHS is hosting the ACT test on Saturday, October 26th. If you did not get yourself registered, check into the Counseling Center or go to act.org for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. One more note for juniors. Remember, the PSAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifier is next week. The deadline to sign up and pay for the test is today. The cost is $16 and only seven slots are available. The day for the test is next Wednesday, October 10th. Seniors, Herb Jones will be in the lower comments today during lunch. You can place your cap and gown orders as well as orders for graduation rings. The the sooner you order, the better, so you can get the best selections. If you need an order packet, Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center has your back. You can also order online if you didn't bring your order information. And now, we're throwing it to the sports desk with Ethan Simon for our Gladiator Sports Update, including Damon's Daily Dose. What's the scoop, Ethan? It's finally Friday, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our boys' soccer team hosted the TCA Titans last night, and despite their best efforts, the Titans prevailed. The boys' team is headed to Sierra next week on Tuesday, October 9th at 6 p.m. In tennis news, our boys' tennis team closed out their season at regionals on Wednesday at Cheyenne Mountain. Sadly, none of our players advanced to state. The team, however, is already starting to think ahead to next year. In volleyball news, the ladies are on the road to take on Canyon City on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Remember, the fourth annual Dig Pink Volleyball game is on Thursday, October 11th against Sierra. The lady has asked that everyone wear pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting breast cancer. The team will be collecting donations and have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. In softball news, our ladies ended their season last night when they lost to the Purple School. It was a great season, ladies, and we are proud of all of you. In cross-country news, the next meet for the team happens this Saturday at Fountain Fort Carson. Come check out some of the fastest runners on campus and cheer them on to their next victory. The team is preparing for regionals coming up next week. Our Gladiator football team made its way to the D20 Stadium last night, but the cold and wind plagued the boys and they took the loss. Up next for the football team is an away game next Friday at Air Academy High School at 7 p.m. Keep your heads up, boys. You got this. Our Mighty Glad Marching Band is performing at prelims and finals at the Legend Festival tomorrow in Parker, Colorado. Good luck to the band as they start the final push towards state finals. In forensics news, the team is preparing for its first World Schools debate of the season at Discovery Canyon High School on October 11th. The team has been busy polishing their skills and our last update for the day comes from the swim and dive team. Ladies interested in joining the team this year, be sure to attend the informational meeting on October 15th at lunch in room 110. Please check in with Ms. Wickberg if you are interested but cannot attend the meeting. And now here's Damon's Daily Dose. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Daily Dose of Health. My health tip for you today is about sugar and the negative effects it has on the brain. Number one, sugar creates an addictive response in our brain comparable to highly addictive drugs such as cocaine. Number two, it impairs our cognitive function, affecting our brain's ability to function correctly. Number three, it increases tension. And though we find ourselves turning to it when we're stressed, it really doesn't alleviate any of the stress or help with the problems. Number four, 
Sugar is a contributing factor to depression, and though it doesn't cause depression, if you're experiencing depressive episodes or symptoms, sugar does nothing to help alleviate or relieve depression. Number five, sugar negatively affects memory, so taking it before a test isn't gonna help you do any better on it. All right, guys, and that is Damon's Daily Dose. Have a great one, guys. That's some sweet information, Mr. Damon. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Enjoy your three-day weekend, and good luck to all of our sports teams. Now back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for the update, Ethan. Glads. Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay in play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. The Drama Council is having a hat day today. If you didn't get your wristbands, see if you can get one after the news is over at the front lobby. Junior and senior students who have a 3.4 or higher GPA are eligible for induction to the National Honor Society and should have received email invitations this week to apply to become a member. If you did not receive an email but you feel you meet the requirements, please stop by the library and speak with Ms. HK immediately. The survey is due on Tuesday, October 9th for selection consideration. And now, here's the lunch crew for our lunch menu for today and and Tuesday. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Friday. Hello. What's for lunch today? Today for lunch, super nachos. Super nachos. How about Tuesday? Tuesday, cheeseburger. With fries. Yum. Yummy, yeah. Okay. Hit it, Mr. Bergen. I have some cheese. I have some chips. Ooh, super nachos. Oh, yeah. Yum. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, Mrs. Murphy still has some space left on the trip she's hosting to the Galapagos Islands next June. If you are interested in joining her, please check in with her sooner rather than later so you can get your trip planned. If you'd like to travel to England, Scotland, and Ireland, then check out the trip Miss Melton is hosting in June of 2020. To get details for this trip, you and your parents should attend the meeting on October 17th at 6.30 p.m. in room 103. See Miss Melton for details and information. Seniors, October 19th is right around the corner, and that's when your senior photo and quote to do. See Mrs. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those to the yearbook. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, order yours today in the business office or you can go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Thanks to everyone who donated blood on Thursday. We had a great turnout and your donation will go a long way in the city. You are true heroes. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. The news will be back next Wednesday. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Enjoy your three-day weekend.